So I think it also just speaks to the potential stranded asset risk of really doubling down on oil and gas production. I want to say here that I've been covering this a long time, and, and I did a series of, of stories back in 2016, 2017, where they, and I interviewed people from the industry like Harbir China, who was the VP of technology for Sonovus, and they said, we recognize this as a problem, and we have to be carb cost and carbon competitive. And the reason for that is because at that time, they thought, well, you know what, uh, uh, climate policies are being implemented all over the world, and that that will be whether the carbon pricing or if there's some other regulations will be penalized if we don't get these emissions down. And then I here's my thinking on this is that as time went on, they began to go, oh, hang on a second, this isn't happening as quickly as we thought. Maybe we can relax a bit. We don't have to invest the amount of capital we have thought we were going to, and. And I think that there's been some pushback, and that's why you've seen those oil sands emissions plateau. Yeah, well, and I, I think there's also two important aspects to that. First, on the carbon border adjustment mechanisms that we've seen pop up now in places like the European Union and the United Kingdom. So some of those international policies that really do get at the carbon intensity of imports are starting to be designed and starting to be implemented.